about 9.30, day 92. Whew, almost to 100, man, that's crazy. And uh, fresh ground set up right by the 501 shelter last night where we were and cooked us dinner last night and breakfast again this morning in a classic fresh ground style, which is awesome to see him again. Um, man, that 501 shelter, for anybody through hiking or section hiking, that place is sweet. It's like a fully enclosed house, almost. You can order pizza, there's board games inside, tons of bunks, it's just an awesome place. I'm trying to push 25 today to get into Port, Port Clinton, I think it is. Port Clinton or Hamburg and get out of this rain because it's been raining the past like three days non-stop and it's not supposed to stop for another three. So. All right, so the more I'm out here and the more I'm able to be a part of the hiking community, I really come to realize there's a whole sub-community within the hiking community, and that would be the vloggers of the hikers. And there's a ton of us, and it's just really awesome. Everybody's really supportive of each other. And that being said, I am hiking with Gandalf. Where is he? Gandalf, what is the name of your channel, and who would run in a fight between a grizzly bear and a gorilla? <laughs> the name of my channel is Havy Trails, H-A-V-V-Y Trails. And uh, I'm gonna go grizzly bear because of the claws. Right on. I disagree, but we'll, we'll, we'll let that slide. Momentous day in the world of the trail. It's the world's largest Cabela's. I'm honored to be here. I want to thank my mom, everybody that brought me up, and my two legs for giving me this chance. All right, so I think it's like day 93 or four now. A little afternoon. Uh, Fresh ground, shuttled us all into town last night and then back out to the trail. So we uh, just got out of the rain a little bit last night because, man, it sucks. Not gonna lie. Uh, everything's soaking wet and you just can't get dry. Um, it's part of the fun though, I guess, right? You remember that at the end. So can't complain overall. A uh, little bit of a bummer this morning, actually. So back in high school, oh, middle school up through high school, I've broken my wrist or been casted up a total of eight times. And uh, this morning, just pulling apart some Velcro from my gaiters, I, I don't know what happened, but something tweaked and now my wrist is all messed up again like it was, but that's minor. You don't really walk with your hands. So I don't know, I'm just see what I can do, tough it out until I can get home. And if it's still hurting, then check out a doctor. But that's it for the injury side. Really the first time anything's really happened out here. So I guess I'm lucky. But uh, 14 more miles today, or 15, just an easy day, and Fresh Ground's meeting us at the shelter to cook us some dinner. Momentous day in the world of the trail. Bear! <laughs> At least you saw our first bear the whole trail. Trailfish. Woo. What do you think about the bear? Intimidating, as it was, you know, fluffy and running away. <laughs> that's true. But man, that's the first bear the whole time. That's that's awesome. They do exist. I can vouch for that. They're not a myth. <laughs>
Howdy, y'all. Yesterday it was, uh, it was pouring rain an insane amount all day, and after uh, probably six too many pancakes from fresh ground, we decided to take a zero. So uh, hung out with uh, Shaggy back there and some of the other crew. Went and saw Deadpool 2 yesterday, which is pretty sweet. We're back on the trail again today for what Fresh Grounds claims to be the hardest 20 miles of the trail, or of Pennsylvania at least. Um, so I don't know if it's living up to that yet or not. But uh, pushing in, I don't know, 24 today at least. Um, yeah, should be out of Pennsylvania here in the next day or two, which is a good feeling. And then after that, it's just, I would say it's all downhill, but it's more all uphill from there. Uh, met a trail angel and his daughter yesterday that I really want to tell you guys about here in a little bit because their story is just incredible and what they're or the little nine-year-old girl is aiming to do next year is even more insane so stay tuned for that really cool story coming up All right, so I mentioned about this uh, this family, this dad and his daughter, um, that picked us up yesterday, and because we took a zero, and so they drove us to the theater so we could see a movie. They drove us to a restaurant. This whole story is it's Eddie and his daughter Alexandria, and this is just one of the coolest things I've heard in a long time. Um, she's nine years old, right? And I don't know about you guys, but at nine I was still like playing with Legos and cutting the heads off teddy bears and whatnot, and. Uh, this little girl last year wanted to hike the CDT but uh, and raise 3.1 million dollars for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is insane. Like, never in a million years would I have had that much drive and ambition at that age. And uh, her dad is just fully supportive of, of it and uh, just all on board making this thing happen. But uh, one thing led to another. The CDT wasn't, uh, you know, in the grasp or in the reach of them, so they settled on the Appalachian Trail and uh, they're doing it. So next year. This little girl is hiking the Appalachian Trail in partnership with St. Jude's Children's Hospital with her dad, Eddie. And she's raising this money for cancer research, basically, which is just off the wall. And just an awesome dad, awesome daughter, just really cool dynamic, really cool relationship they have, and you can see it. And uh, I did a little interview with them yesterday, so I'll play that right after this and include the website and everything you can go to help donate and help this little girl raise money for a great cause. Um, it's goalexandriago.org, and I'll put that below, and here's the interview. All right, so this is Eddie and Alexandria, and uh, they've been helping us out all day, driving us around. Alexandria, I guess, how old are you, first of all? I'm nine. You're nine years old, and what are your plans for next year? The whole thing? Yeah. By yourself? No, that. With your dad? Ned, what are the intentions behind this trail? Um, she actually came to us, she wanted to hike the Continental Divide Trail, mm -hmm. and she's trying to raise $3.1 million for St. Jude. Her hike, I'm just lucky enough to tag along. So, and, uh, she's trying to raise money for her favorite trail, St. Jude. Does she have a, she have a website or anything? Yes, goalexandriago.org. Cool. And you can find all her social media links there. Yep. Now she has Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Mm. She's not allowed to use any, but she has a the hike to kind of get the word out. Cool. And I'll put those all in the description below. So you guys are awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. It's a pleasure meeting you. This is the trail right now. River. I could fill up my water bottle off the trail. Dun-dun!
Dada, Dada, Dada.